The world's largest imperial palace, the Forbidden City, has stood in the heart of the Chinese capital, Beijing, for centuries. Between the years 1420 and 1912, the complex was home to 24 emperors of the Ming and Qing dynasties. Covering 72 hectares, the palace has more than 8,700 rooms, including great halls, private chambers, government offices, and temples. It only took four years to build by a huge construction crew of 100,000 artisans and a million laborers. Materials from across China were used, including these giant engraved stones for the main entrance to the temples. They were transported from a quarry 70 kilometers away by a team of 40 to 50 workers. Working in winter, they splashed water on the ground to create an icy path, allowing sledges carrying the stones to more easily glide toward the palace. The complex has withstood multiple earthquakes over its more than 500-year history. That's despite the fact that not a single nail or drop of glue was used to hold the buildings together. The secret is a construction technique called dogong. A bracket assembly made with a wooden block called a dough is placed on a column, forming a solid base. Another wooden bracket, called a gong, is inserted into the dough to support either a wooden beam or another gong. The unique structure absorbs the weight of a roof, much like the trunk of a tree supports its branches. But since its buildings were almost entirely made of wood, the Forbidden City had one enemy feared above all others, fire. Blazes damaged sections of the palace five times between 1421 and 1923. During the Ming Dynasty, 308 iron and copper vats to hold rainwater were placed throughout the complex as a precaution against fire. Diligence and good fortune over the centuries have allowed the complex to survive, showcasing intricate artwork that opens a window into the past. And each statue, painting, color, and shape in the Forbidden City is rich with symbolism, much of it reflecting the strict hierarchy of the royal household that once lived here. <laughs>